And let me also clarify one point. Even if you get a land, the purpose clause is very clear. Any transaction you do on land, whether it is lease, whether it is hire, whether it is uh, sale, is all governed by rules and regulations. If the situation is as you just described now, even as you described it, it was wrong because you do not sublease or even lease out a property meant for a clinic to be converted into a nightclub without getting the right approval. So it's all a matter of process. And uh, it's not as if bulldozers will just go and start demolishing. It's not done anywhere, even in the FCT. And I'm uh, quite uh, interested also with the way I see the, the, the feedback from the wider community. I have had cause to discuss with many of your colleagues where many people felt that this minister has not been demolition. As a matter of fact, it's not demolition, so it's not working. It's due process, brother. If you check the records, you will be surprised how long it took to reach that painful decision of having to demolish that. As a matter of fact, all the regulations were there. That property is no longer owned. It has reverted to government. Because it's very clear. Check any C of O, you will see the conditions. If there is a flagrant abuse and there are, there are efforts to correct that abuse, it's not done, it, 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 it reverts back to government. So this is how it is. But I want you to be rest assured that for every demolition you see, maybe a hundred were saved. So I, what I just request the general public, particularly our citizens, is that everything in Abuja is governed by law.